We are back. We're talking about NWA Power. Who's going to sing the theme song? Go. He's doing it. Oh, it was so 80s. Yeah, it's, it's the best. best. And the, like the way the best. That their pictures come in, like oh. float into frame with like, I, the space. I, I actually like that. Here's the thing. I've seen it written online, NWA Power. Yeah, like I, lots of and R's. And I was very power. curious why there was four R's. And then when I see it, I get it. But now I don't know why people love to do that so much. But Power. Because it's funny. I guess. NWA Power. This is a show that came out this fall, right? There's only been like 12 yeah. episodes. Yeah. Not a lot. It's on YouTube. It's an hour. 6.05 One on of the, Tuesdays. It's 6.05 on Tuesdays. One of the best things about it is it's very well produced. Yes. But despite the – caveat on everything. Despite the Jim Cornette bullshit right. that they didn't edit out, it's very well produced. It's very well – like executed it knows from like a production standpoint the thing is it knows exactly what it is mm-hmm. exactly what it wants to do right and nails it right and then it's shot in it's the double very, studio. This is what it wants to it's, do yes it's very digestible yeah oh, so you can yes. like bang this out real quick sure, it's digestible. watch it for 50 minutes on a tuesday night when nothing fucking else is minutes, happening maybe. or Bingo, watch boom. it at uh 27 minutes if you do double speed <laughs> Oh, <laughs> double speed! Come on, three yeah. percent. Jesus Christ, you're you're like at five percent. I did, I did one point. and a half speed for this. <laughs> Jesus. All right, so this episode, all the episodes have funny names. This episode is called "Who's the Third Man, Brother?" Brother, which is a reference to the NWO. If you didn't, yes. if you didn't know, uh, we get a recap of last what, week. Let's go back. What is the NWO? <laughs> well. Uh, we talked about favored nations last week. We yes. did. <laughs> we never really described what that was. Uh, all right. So last week on the show, they do a little recap at the beginning. Tim Storm, the old He's NWA old. champion who's been there forever. Ne- uh, muscle neck. Yeah. Old, so, as all this will call him. Yeah, he does have old a muscly muscle neck. muscle neck. And he is so he one was, of the dads of Tony, right? We, <laughs> right, yes. right. My three dads. Yeah. Yes. Lance, Tim, and James. Yep. <laughs> oh, we'll talk about James. Who's there as well. Yes. Uh, so Tim Storm wanted a piece of Nick Aldis last week. Aldis said that he, he's formed a new group called Strictly Business. Strictly Business. This is a funny name. With It's an 80s heel stable uh, name. With a bunch of Brits, right? No. Uh, no. Royce like Isaacs is not British. Oh, okay. Um, they have the former Magnus on there, mm, who is oh, Tom Latimer. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Royce Isaacs. And then... Uh, the third man. The third man and Camille. Camille, who's awesome. Who's really she's really good. Is she? Yeah, I think she's is cool. She, did she, well, she we'll, we'll get to her. She we'll didn't say a word. She Tom Latimer, a.k.a. Magnus, was married uh, to Charlotte. Charlotte, yes. She, oh, he was the one who. He was. Yes. Un- he in NW. Some, or he was in. Impact. In, in NXT. Yes. As Bram or something. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That's no, it was before. He was with. Connor and they were actually kind yes. of an intimidating tag team. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he left and they brought in Victor. And I was yeah. like, oh. And you know. now those guys don't have jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so sad. Uh, all right. So Storm wanted this match with Nick Aldis. Aldis backed out of the match and put one of his groupies in there. Yeah, and Storm, Storm was all pissed off about it. Um, so this is filmed. And that happened last week. The week before. Yes. Yeah, the week before. This is filmed in like NXT old school style. Double Dare Studio. Television sta- tapings yep. at GPD Studios in Atlanta. Oh, yeah, baby. Which is basically like a center stage kind of yes. place. I think it's like that, but even smaller. It's very small. Oh, it's they have a little small. stadium. It's like a couple hundred people. A little stadium seating, and like uh, they ring, and it's like a television studio, and you see They've got the, the, set the cameras all right there. and the Fam- sets. And family all that. Feud. And it's very bright. Brightly yes, lit. Very bright. They've got the announcer's desk right there with Tom them. Galley and Stu Bang. Then they've got the interview desk with David Marquez. Yeah, the podium. The podium. Mm-hmm. And then they've got like a curtain and that's and a bunch yeah, of cameras and that's, that's it. That's it. Yep. So it's pretty simple. So we kick off with we're meeting Joe Galley, their announcer. Joe Galley. Uh, who I think does a good job. Joe Galley's done very yeah. very good. Um, he interviews Tim Storm about what happened last week. Who I assume is giving the same promo he gave in 1984. He's a great promo. He does He's a, a good promo. promo. He wants he wants the NWA TV title. He's excited because it's a blind draw and it could be anybody from any company anywhere. Yeah. So who knows who that would be? He's pissed off at Nick Aldis from last Probably week for pulling out of the match. This has pretty much been this feud has been going 
since the beginning of the show, right. and it really hasn't gotten very tired. Marty's there, but Marty... He every, just showed up. Though. He just showed up after the pay-per-view, but I, it's not... Like, he really... There hasn't been much more from Marty. So He's this, done some interviews with Stu. This brings Marty's out... Real? Yes. Oh. Marty's on NWA Power. He was on an episode. He was A couple episodes. And, and the thing they got, you got to realize is Marty, Stu, Nick Aldis, Zack Sabre, like, all came up together. Hmm. All, I, like... I knew uh, Marty and Nick were best friends. Yes. And Stu Bennett all came up together. And, like, Zack Sabre, yeah. All um, those dudes came up together. So this is where we get our first taste, uh, which I've complained about a little bit, and I don't know what you guys feel, but because this is so intimate, you get a lot of uh, crowd reaction. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. And you individual, get, you can hear what they're saying. You can saying. hear yes. individual dickheads yell shit out. The entire fucking time they were trying to talk. So, And at first- They interrupt Tim Storm right. in the middle of his promo. And I'll, I'll say, ha- I've, having seen all the episodes- Yeah. Besides that one cornet one. Um, uh, at first, I did not like it, but now it's kind of like worked its way into its part of the show. Okay. Like the interaction, and you can tell like the wrestlers have even got more comfortable with it, and the crowd's got more comfortable with it, and it's not like a constant berating. And, like, it's the, pretty constant. It was. It is. It seemed It's very a good. lot of it's yelling. Just, they only react to it occasionally. Yeah, yeah. I think it. it I think it's, that's. It's got it. I will say it's that figured it's that's the part out. I don't like is when they stop what they're saying to address one person. I yeah. will say that Tim Storm handled this situation well. Yeah, he quickly. Him and all this handled he was it very easily well. like, okay, no, you're stupid, or like whatever. I'll just like, let me throw, quickly throw move on. Fashion, shut up, fat boy. Like, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, all this, all this, and Tim Storm they handled, handled it very well. They both handled it well, but it is very and annoying even to like me. Um, Aaron Stevens. I'm does sure it, yeah. is terrific with it. If you watch uh, the we'll get former week, last week's, he, he, him and the question mark, because the people are constantly booing right. Stevens, that but guy. cheering for the question mark, and he thinks it's his, che- they're cheering him, uh, question mark. Uh, Sand, we'll wait till we get through Sandow the Sandow is mark. Stevens, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay, 100%. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Do we know who question mark is? Uh, who knows? Uh, okay. Who knows? <laughs> so we know, but we're not going to say. <laughs> who knows? So I did could be up, a certain right gentleman by Josephus. So, uh, yeah, you, you said that, that last week. You gave away his identity last week. So, in the middle of this promo, he's not uh, Tim Storm not only interrupted by the crowd, but also by Camille, who comes out. Yes. He, and she is the heater, technically, yeah, she's, for Nick Aldis. She doesn't speak. She's she doesn't heater. speak, and there's a lot of, like... Interviewers trying to get her to talk, and, and there was Alice a very much long. Off. There was a very long build of what is she really on all this side? Is she really? Because yeah. she seems to take a lot of flack from him. He was. He talks about that later. So she comes out. She stares down Tim Storm. Tim Storm's like, "Hey, look, you know he's an embarrassment to the to wrestling. Yeah, for backing out. Um, what do you want me to say?" And she slaps him across the face. Oh, yeah. And walks out, and Storm looks like he's gonna hit a woman. No. He's all riled up, but he doesn't. And she's just laughing in his and face. And she laughs. And laughs. I'm a Storm's baby boy. Um, they do a great job with their intercutting promos and mm-hmm. stuff because the production is really good. Mm-hmm. So they uh, talk about hard times, the co- upcoming pay per view. Yep. What the fuck, AEW? How did you not get this? Yeah. How did you not do this? I don't know how they did. How did you not do this? I don't it's understand. Such a good, it's such it's a, a good perfect name. name for a pay per view. Such a good name. It's amazing. I uh, I don't understand how Cody yeah. did not do this. Missed like, it. what are you doing? You missed that one. Uh, coming back, we meet Trevor Murdoch. Oh, Trevor Murdoch! Oh, good old Chester and Murdoch. This Chester. motherfucker uh, has gotten so over. Let's talk it about Trevor so Murdoch. So, Tre- Tre- Trevor Murdoch was in WWE. He yes. had a partner. Lance Lance Cade, Cade who, who passed now away. sadly passed R. P. But at the time, <laughs> Bill, who was a uh, not watching all the time, nope, got them confused, Chester mixed their Murdoch. names up, and called <laughs> called Lance Murdo instead Murdoch. of Murdoch, and <laughs> Chester. And Chester was Trevor Murdoch. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was Lance Murdo and Trevor Murdo. It was Ch- Chester, Chester and Murdo. Chester. <laughs> And for now, the longest I, time, yes. and we, it was very confusing. Now, do you remember? Names. 
<laughs> Do you remember their song they came out to? Biscuits oh. and Gravy? No. Biscuits and Gravy I thought was, it was Festus's. <laughs> and Jesse and Festus. Jesse and Festus's. <laughs> Biscuits and Gravy. Biscuits and Gravy. <laughs> that was Jesse and Festus. What was Festus's is now. Um, uh, yeah. Gallows. Yeah, Gallows. <laughs> oh, okay. Festus. How it was, wasn't it Biscuits and Gravy? Uh, the what was, of all do you remember their song? No, I just knew uh, you would think it's it was biscuits. And I did. Think it was <laughs> I knew you. I knew you thought it was going to be biscuits. Uh, and well, he is the same character. Well, his uh, Murdo and Chester. I mean, he's still you know. Chester. So he's there. He he's talks older, a lot. Worse, his teeth are worse, but he's the same person. He's out there with a bunch of people I don't know. He's saying, with the Dawson brothers, who are a tag team. The J Bro. Uh, I can beat anybody. And then they tell him his opponent. He's like, "Oh, I might not be able to beat him." <laughs> 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 Who was his opponent? Because we didn't watch him. Uh, right? I forget. I think it was the the bigger of no, because no, because the, the Dawson's, yeah, the Dawson's are fighting each other. Dawson's are fighting each other. Because they get all bigger of oh Tom Latimer. Yeah, the bigger of okay. So he's gonna fight Magnus. He's gonna fight strictly Magnus. business. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and he doubts his own abilities. <laughs> like, Ooh, that should be a good fight. <laughs> but I guess I can beat anybody. <laughs> Don't think I'm going to get with that one. Uh, uh, Anastasia is the one who picks names out of a hat. They, they yeah. have a lot of weird... That's very NWA, old school. Like, here's a, blonde here's a weird pretty lady with a name. You're never going to know She's anything about. very comfortable about. with it. Yep. Not uh, a wrestling person, clearly. Yep, so the tag team of the Dawson brothers are going to fight each other. somewhere. Mm. They gotta fight each other in this tag team or Work not tag Stacey team Keebler. in this TV title tournament. Yes, um, and yes, Trevor will face Tom Lattimore. Then we get to meet. We got our first match of the night. Oh yeah, where we meet. Oh, Zicky Dice. Zicky Dice. Who is awful? What is this thing? Zicky Dice. He's like man. a not good wrestler. He's not a good personality. He's like a Dolph Ziggler Tattoo. mixed with a Steve Carino. Kind of, yes. <laughs> so, is that what yes. Yes. Like, if you yes. took the worst version of Dallas Ziggler that we've grown to despise and you cut his likability by like 90%, he doesn't he have any likability. I thought, he does. Oh, I thought guy, Zicky yeah. was perfectly fine. Um, and Caleb really Connolly was very good. It Caleb Connolly. It, so, okay, it was a good let me ask you ish a match. I know that they're short and they have to keep matches short. Well, mm-hmm. But why do they actually put a six minute clock no, Because out? that is for. That's for the. That's for the tournament. The, yeah. The why? tournament is the matches can the go. Qualifiers the quali- are six minutes. Yeah, no, the tournament. The, the tournament itself is six minutes? The tournament matches. Or six minutes, five seconds. Six minutes, five seconds. Why? Because. They six need to. Because well, they, they need to keep things moving. Because the need. show's only an hour, so they have so to. Well, I get that you have to, but why are you putting up a clock so I go like, well, this match can go no longer than another minute and thirty seconds. What do you so mean? I guess start wrapping it up. Do you, how about time limits? Don't don't you? Well, know they did. It's every match on the show, basically. At, no, no. At a certain point, they did mention that if they come to a draw, if they can't they finish lose. each other, they're, they're both, both out. Yeah. Yes, which is I love, absolutely love that they put this timer in for just this tournament. Well, this Who, this episode is mostly this tournament. Who yeah. did you fight again? Ziggy Dice versus... He fought Caleb Connolly. Yes. It was a good wrestler. Yeah. Um, it a, okay. Yeah, it was all right. Uh, commentary is now Wade Barrett after St- Cornette races himself Stubin. off the air. Who's Stu Bennett. Yeah, who's now Stu Bennett. He does a good job. Yes. This is a good pick. Yes, very good. pickup. Um, Ziggy Dice does a lot of humping, gets drop kicked outside. Yeah. Uh, Connolly does a head scissors. So we actually get to see some kind of a modern... Ish move, I guess. Yeah, they've only been doing that uh, since '84. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's not a a moon salt. Connolly misses a moon salt. Zicky Dice hits a shake rattle and roll neck breaker for the win. He won with the neck. Yeah, breaker. I, shake I, rattle and roll. Old he school. does the basically the uh, Rick Rude. Yeah, the Rude Awakening is basically what it is. Even with the dancing, the Rick Rude or the Rick Rude Steiner. The Rick Rude Steiner. Okay. Okay. Well. <laughs> That'll come back up later. Uh, then we get maybe I I enjoyed this. I don't know why. Maybe I'm wrong, but I like Danny Deals. Oh, oh my Dan. god! Did you like Danny, Danny Deals? Deals? That's These? this has been oh, no. ongoing no. for no. Weeks. So this is These a commercial f- commercials were the stupidest. I things liked in it because it was mess. corny and weird and oh. such a. And this old has been going thing. on for weeks. So this guy comes out who is I know this guy from. He's on the uh, Demon Assassin YouTube channel or uh, Demon Bunny or whatever. He really? shows up every once in a while in their weird uh, 
Rosemary Skits oh. as like a funny guy. So he's there. I don't know what his if he just works. Is he the head of high spots? And maybe he's just the head of high spots. I don't know. But he's like, hi, I'm Danny Deals, and I got some deals for you. And then a bunch of people like. Well, that's Found the him. thing is all these people who came in and beat him up, he's been ruining their commercials okay. for the past several weeks. Well, I enjoyed oh, it. I enjoyed yes. it. Now I enjoyed Danny Deal. Uh, I just yes. went to Google him, and I got to Danny Deal, and one of the top things that pops up is Danny Deal obituary. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. I he's am. He's uh, very much alive. You know, you can buy a ring on High Spots. You can buy like gear, is a it, ring. Is it Danny Hodge that, that happened to no, come that's up for No, Danny you? Hodge is an old wrestler. Because yes. I've got NWA Danny Deals and Danny Hodge popped up for nope. everything. <laughs> that's an, a famous NWA wrestler. Yeah. All right, so that, that little commercial ends, and then Joe Galley is talking to Aaron, a.k.a. Shooter Stevens. Shooter Stevens. Oh, man. Now he's the shooter. And his, his, and his partner, the question mark. Oh, well, I know well, this is well, supposed well, to be the best Hold on, show. hold on. Not his partner. His sensei. His sensei, yes. Because the question mark is a dude in a mask, as we said last week, who just says, Karate. Although, I did watch a clip, because I watched this, it popped up, a clip of him singing the national anthem of, what is his? Mongrovia. Mongrovia, his fake oh my country. God. So this guy from which is Which, Mongrovia's national anthem is the United States <laughs> national anthem. Just, <laughs> hello, 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 hello. It was grumbling. So what the hell is this shit? So best. Cornette, let me stop. Cornette hates comedy and wrestling, but this yeah. was this was totally fine that to be a part of. Yeah, well, Come yeah. on. He is this sensei wearing a robe from Mongrovia, <laughs> and he's wearing Levi's and New Balance underneath yeah, his yep, robe. Of What's course. wrong with that? And during that the action? Mongrovian national anthem. Aaron Stevens hold up a flag with a question yes. mark and an X That's on That's the Mongrovian it. flag. <laughs> a question mark on a flag. That's the Mongrovian flag. I, here's why I, well, I didn't like it because it wasn't good. Here's my thing. <laughs> oh, I know that Aaron Stevens can be great. Oh, he is but so good. But then he's though. doing this. I like how he's awful. shaved his, his uh, he's yes. got a soul patch. Yes. Because you have to have one if you're karate. It's terrible yes. soul patch. Karate. That's good. He says. But I actually don't hate the. The third degree championship? Yes. So good. He's the but third a degree. Lot of what he had to say was not good. <laughs> the third degree national champion with three little stripes yeah, on it. Third degree. Because he's that good. The thing is, the thing is is when uh Stevens first showed up on uh NWA, you could tell he had like the first week or two he had a hard time with Obviously, they're not scripting anything. Yeah, yeah. And he yeah. kind of was like unsure of it, but now he's in like full blown Character Ms. Dow mode, Ms. Dow mode, and yeah. it is so. Watch his match, I believe, from last week where he's in full shooter. Like the whole time, Stu Bannon goes, Shooter, he goes, Shooter, <laughs> Shooter, Steven, Shooter, Shooter, and he's trying to legit like shoot on the guy and like do a Mongrovian move. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, so, uh, and he's doing exactly like stuff how he got so over with Ms. Dow. Question mark is a. According to Stevens, a 10th degree black belt in karate. Mongrovian karate. So that's you too, Wally, right? You could face yep. off against yep. question mark. Yep. Are you the question mark? Uh, Are you a 10th? You're not a 10th degree black belt. I'm not a 10th. I'm not a 10th. No. No. I'm uh, 11. Say that to put, put us oh, off the track. <laughs> putting yourself over there. Uh, Aaron Stevens won't put the belt on the line because yeah. no one deserves it. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> well, no, I'm getting the he, signal that we have to wrap up. He does, <laughs> <laughs> no, that was good for oh, him. Oh, he did that say that. Uh, you thought you were talking about us. Uh, that's it, but... I mean, we can... <laughs> we could wrap it up. <laughs> the whole show is the over. question mark, we can wrap it up. Is this it? Uh, Sienna, women's champion, is on commentary for a match between Thunder Rosa, who I... She I actually was, really like. Yeah, oh, Thunder Rose is real good. I've never seen her before. She, she was in like Lucha she Underground. In this. Yeah, she she's was. A, she's she, uh, Mariposa, El Mariposa. Yeah, she was good in in Lucha Underground. She's also a, sh- a, a shooter herself. She, she's she a legit MMA fighter. Just had an MMA match, got beat, but right. um, uh, she fought ODB, the old dirty bitch yeah. or one dirty bitch. Is that what it is? One dirty, one dirty yeah. bitch. I it was old dirty bitch. I, I feel one. like she could be. Uh, What's her face? The the not ODB, the other one that we were just talking about. What was Thunder her name? Rosa? Thunder Rosa. I feel like if she, she went somewhere that was a good program, oh. she could be a good wrestler. She is a good wrestler. Gave her, 
Yeah. They, you mean Somebody, if they gave her more than four minutes against someone who's in the twilight of their career? Twilight? <laughs> yeah, um, ODB the, was kind of... say <laughs> ODB looked way better than I thought she was yeah, that's this match. Uh, well, do you remember why we know... A, We've talked we, about uh, ODB. Do you yeah, remember? her uh, barbecue sauce. That's right. We ch- we ch- her whiskey good. barbecue her sauce. Her whiskey, very good. I think whiskey. that one tastes like whiskey. Her heavy whiskey oh, barbecue yeah. sauce. Oh, yeah. Hers was the, the, the tougher one. <laughs> well, well, what was the other one? Uh, JR's. JR's, JR's, JR's is very much generic plain. barbecue. Yeah. It's sweet and whatever. And it was fine. We don't see Molina, but they mentioned... ODB's wasn't bad. It just was very heavy on the whiskey. It wasn't bad at all. It was pretty good, but it was... It's very whiskey. What happened? Did she have a food truck that like Her burnt down? Yes. Burned down and people like go fund it, yeah, go they, fund it she, back. I believe she got it back. Yeah, good for her. And she looked she didn't look bad in this. Uh, Molina is a manager and he, a heel manager. Yes. The old Molina from WWE. Mm-hmm. She's pulling the strings behind the scenes. Um, get some some real nice sh- uh, chopping in this. ODB muscles. Thunder Rosa, because Thunder Rosa is tiny. Yep. Thunder Rosa working heel, but the crowd loves her. Yeah, Thunder so Rosa is really good. Confusing. Um, was she working heel? She is a heel. She's working stiff. She's a heel. She's a, she's a heel. A heel she's a heel. ODB is a face. I did not. ODB catch. catches Thunder Rosa after she goes for a splash, slams her, goes to the top, and does what was the bad part of the match for ODB: her splash, yeah. which was a god. Fucking awful. It's like uh, I don't want to fall and hurt myself, so I'm going to put my legs out. Mm-hmm. Does not work. Uh, Thunder Rosa hits a backstabber and then a double stomp for the win. So she's yeah. she's very modern. They've had a very good um, women's storyline with pretty much Allison K. Is she Allison K or Sienna on the show? Is she oh, Allison K? Shit. I forget. I don't know. But I, say, think I, re- I think I remember hearing the name Allison Kay. Yeah, I okay, she's so Allison she's Kay. Kay. She's how, I like her a lot. She's um, a champion. She was on commentary. She Marty was, Bell turned on her. Right, and her. so now it's Marty, Thunder Rosa. Molina. And Molina. And it's been very good. And, um, I like Allison Kay. She Actually, brought did out like, ODB. I think it was Stu. One of them at this point was like, you know, you're the champ or whatever, but like, Molina's taken over. Like Molina yeah, is the, yeah. the leader of this division now. And, and, now but, Mal- and Allison Kay was like, no. And Melina's kind of like um, overreaching herself with uh, with Marty Bell and I think kind of ticking her off. And okay. It's, it's been good. It's been good. I like it. I like Thunder Rosa a lot. Um, next we get the – okay, this might have been my favorite thing of the night. The Rock and Roll Express Hotline. The best. <laughs> the Rock and Roll Express. Another weird commercial. I wish with, the hands. The Rock, the hands. Your tag team of the year. Tag team of the year. No if The Rock and Roll Express, uh, which. Oh, should we call that right now? <laughs> they have an actual number. No, but it wasn't it an was actual a, it number. It was like 111888. <laughs> Uh, it was yeah, two ones, eight hundred, and then one one eight hundred uh, rock and roll. And then they say uh, <laughs> one of the things they say. It cracked me up. It was like having trouble with your baby mama. You yeah. called the Rock and Roll Express hotline. Got plenty of experience in that. Very silly. We come back. Joe uh, is talking with Nick Aldis now. Back out. Second time. Uh, is it the first time? I don't know. He draws a ton of fucking heat. Oh, he gets so, so much heat. He's very from the young, crowd. also, isn't he? Who? He's Alice? like our age. Isn't 33? He? Oh, I thought he was yeah. younger for some reason. He is married to... Uh, Mickey James. Mickey James, right? Oh, right. Uh, Nick says Camille is no longer his insurance policy. She's now a full-on member of Strictly Business. What, is an, what does he mean by an insurance policy? Like what? I don't know. I think it was playing off of the old DX insurance policy where Rick Rude would come out and hit people with a briefcase, and they uh-huh. said, our insurance policy, so we don't lose. I think that's what it was supposed to be. But now she's a full-on member. I don't know. You make sense of it for us, Mike. Uh, I'm sorry, I want to make a phone call. But now, oh, one eight. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yes, going to work. But one, go, one, ahead. 800. go ahead. Go ahead. See if it works. <laughs> You're going to call happens. the fucking Troy Police Department and one one eight hundred rock roll. One one nine one one eight hundred. <laughs> so rock hi, rock. I'm looking to deal with my ex-wife. Oh, let's send somebody right over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, so he's drawing a lot of heat. Nick says, uh, uh, Tim Storm. Yeah, it's not going to work. Oh, he says, oh, Tim, Tim Storm is old. His time is coming gone. It's called Wayne Hunter Rock and Roll. He's <laughs> done. 
Um, he calls <laughs> Ricky Morton had called apparently called out Nick Aldis. He calls Ricky Morton a straight up carny. Yeah, <laughs> you're a carny, Ricky Morton, uh, which is funny. He said that he can get it done in six minutes, no problem, in five seconds. The only time he goes more than six minutes is in the bedroom with the misses. Oh, baby. Oh, Nick. And then he calls himself Oprah because he's just so giving. Yep. He just gives everybody the spotlight when they wrestle with him. So we're going to get him being Oprah to Ricky Starks yep. in an exhibition and match. And this is a guy, Ricky, He's he's been touting Ricky for a very long time. And Ricky is, how old is he? He's kind of young. Know. I don't know. He, he's a good wrestler. Um, you know, yeah, he looked pretty good, too. Ricky he Starks like, and Aaron Solo. He looked a little green. Are, but. We're like um, tag team partners. And there's, oh, okay. And there's actually something on YouTube. I forget what how I came across it. But him and Aaron Solo have this kind of weird relationship with The Undertaker. Hmm. And there's this whole YouTube thing about Ricky Starks and Aaron Solo getting, under, getting barbecue with The Undertaker. Okay. Yeah. That's odd. Yeah. Um, all right, so this match between Ricky Starks and Nick Aldis is an exhibition match, not for the title. It's a six-minute and five-second match. Aldis does a lot of powerhouse stuff because he's huge. Ricky Starks calls himself the Stroke Daddy. Stroke Daddy, baby. What does that mean? I think he's, he's a stroke. Good, good he's at strokes. masturbating? I think he masturbates a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Starks tweaks his knee. Gets caught in the Nick Aldis move, which is the clover leaf, but he's calling it the National Treasure or something yes. like that. Nick Cage movie, which I totally fucking support. Um, does that mean we can watch National Treasure as a show? Because don't tempt me. I would love it. I don't think there's any wrestling connection other than Nick Aldis calls so himself either. that. It goes to a draw. Nick Aldis gets all pissed off because Ricky Starks has drawn him. <clears throat> Ricky Morton comes out and does the. F- Famous fucking WCW NWA move of five more minutes. Yeah, yeah, he wants five more minutes. Give him five more minutes. He can get it done. Um, Alice just goes no. I did like Alice. No, that. no, I'm not doing. I had him beat. He got he got saved by the bell. I'm not and, giving. Him and that. then he goes, so wait, Ricky yeah. wants five more minutes with me. And Ricky says, I could do it. And he goes, no. <laughs> yep. This is straight up no. Uh, then we get. Eli Drake and James Storm versus Colt Cabana and Mr. Anderson. Sorry about your damn luck. Versus the Wild Cards, oh. who are two members of Strictly Business that we yes. talked about before. I so, cannot get rid of um, Ricky Strick's age. This is when we see, well, first time I noticed on the show, there's no entrance music for anybody. Oh, I noticed that right away. No one has it. It's so music. weird that there's no entrance nope, music for no anybody. No entrance music. Because it's such a, I think it's obviously because it's such a quick yeah. walk from the curtain to the ring yeah. that it's, it's just like they're no, two steps. Yeah, you're in the ring as soon as you exit the curtain. But it would be nice if they had some kind of music there, maybe, to make it feel less awkward. It is weird. Um, Eli Drake and James Storm, you know them both from TNA? I know Jim Storm. I know Eli the name Drake. Eli Drake. Eli I don't know Drake if I'm is he was like a uh, EC3 ripoff in, yes. uh, in he's TNA. A, he's a very good promo. Eli. He was their champion. I will say, of all the people that appear in the show, besides maybe Nick Aldis, he's the one that looked like a wrestler. Yeah, he is Jack. Uh, the guy who uh, fought against Aldis, he was good. Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks. Yeah, yeah, he was he good. Kind of Jack too. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, you mean physically look? Yeah. Oh, big. Okay. You mean okay. big? Just like if you looked like if you saw him, he's like, okay, yeah, he's a wrestler. Eli and James Storm, I think, were both TNA World Champion at one point or another. I think um, so. James Storm made it, I think, one match in NXT. He yeah, made it, he, he did. He, he showed up for one match. He was also tag partners with Bobby. And he said, yeah. the thing about Beer James Storm is his, his 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 catchphrase of "Sorry about your damn luck." Yeah, he like pulls it out at like the weirdest times. He'll be like. Mm-hmm. Uh, James Storms, I'm gonna kick your ass. Sorry about your damn luck. People will probably what? love it though. What do you mean, I sorry? I can't about think you? of a time when that is good to say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Ricky Storms, you know, I'm gonna kick your ass. Sorry about your damn luck. Like, okay, yeah. They're what facing luck? Cole Cabana, which Boop. is weird because I don't think I've ever actually seen him wrestle a serious match before. Oh yeah. I know that he can. I know that he yeah. has. I don't yeah. think I've ever seen him before. Well, he we've seen him wrestle. Uh, Dick Justice, Super Cop. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, in the time we 
Yeah. Took a hiatus on the show, has retired from wrestling. Has he retired? Yeah. yeah. Or he's taking like a... He's taking a mental, a mental health oh, indefinite right. leave of that. absence. I remember that, yes. Just sad. Um, Mr. Anderson, who is Mr. Kennedy, yep. yeah, he and is. I don't And now he's get a little paunchy. Don't get it. You know why he, he got fired? He over his under. Because he dropped... Um, Randy Orton on his like yeah I knew there was head. a Randy Orton thing yeah he like dropped Randy Orton on this is after it, a bunch of stuff but Kennedy was happening Kennedy was supposed to be McMahon's fake kid right yeah and it ended it, up being hard if you look up uh, they got fired Kennedy like Randy Orton's back he does something where he, he was, fucks up Randy Orton's back and Randy was immediately pissed there you this dude he was stupid over for oh, a while because yeah. the microphone would drop yeah. down. And Mr. he would do that that saying the name thing twice, but now he can't do it because there's no fucking entrance. Yeah, Does he Kennedy do it Kennedy. on the yeah. show, or is he just a guy? He maybe says just a it. guy that hangs over his unders. Um, looks real I weird. did see one of the as I watched. I haven't watched all the powers like you have, but I watched a power where Eli Drake had lost his voice and still yes. cut a promo. He's like, because oh, Eli, because um, because <laughs> Kennedy. Put his neck in a chair and then like slammed him into. Oh, is that why? Uh, yes. Okay, so they have a blood feud. Yes. And then the wild cards, the strictly business guys, don't show up for the match. Right. No. They just shit. don't even fucking come out because that's what strictly business apparently does. Yeah. They don't show up or try to wrestle, which gets a ton of heat. Um, and then we get the storyline in this match: Colt Cabana and Mister Anderson don't get along. Because, although the pairing doesn't make sense to me. I don't see them as being friends, but somehow they're friends. It's kind of <laughs> an uneasy truce. They don't get along, and every time Mr. Anderson cheats, Cole Cabana gets pissed and yells at him, has to be tagged in, and uh, tries to wrestle the right way while Mr. Anderson is a cheating bastard yep. to try to get his hands and on Eli. He's tagging himself in and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's pulling hair, he's taking advantage, uh, Cole Cabana is like scolding him and mm-hmm. wagging the finger and all that stuff. Um, Anderson finally gets them DQ'd and... Which made no sense. Because he can't control himself, I guess. He's such like, a, beats know, up the ref a little such bit. Such a shithead. Roughs up the ref a little bit, so the ref DQ's him and Cole gets all pissed. Like, dresses him down and then <laughs> together, silently walk to the back. They're setting up for them to split. Yeah. That's, I don't understand why they're partners. I guess it's good that they're going to break up. I think they both don't like Eli and James. Right. So that's what it comes from. Um, And then we get to the final bit at the end where that's Nick really Aldis weird. comes out oh. with his full crew. So the wild cards are fine. But um, Aldis says, no, no, no. I took the wild cards out of the match because you don't deserve to see them wrestle because you guys are you fans are a bunch of pieces of shit basically. Um, and then he calls out the Rock and Roll Express, and then tells, like you said earlier, people are yelling at him. He says, "Shut up, fat boy." The the typical Ric Flair move typical. to somebody yep. in the crowd, which is funny. Um, so the, they're setting up a match. This is a little bit confusing to me. So it's a mm-hmm. three-on-three match. Yes. Mm-hmm. Team Aldis versus Team Morton. Yes. Mm-hmm. Which is going to be not involving Aldis or Ricky Morton. Right. Correct. Whoever wins is going to get the match for them. No, if, well, a shot if, at the title. If Morton, if Morton wins. wins. If Morton's team right. wins, he gets a shot at the title. Morton gets a shot, yeah. Um. And we don't know who's on his team other than Robert Gibson is on his we team. We assume right. Robert Gibson. And then two guys, so probably Ricky Starks and... Definitely Ricky Starks, yeah. Uh, probably Tim like Storm. the Rock and Stone Cold, maybe. Yeah. If I had to pick two. Rock and Stone Cold. Yeah. It's funny that you say The Rock because The Rock, because he's awesome on Oh, Twitter, that's right. And, and He actually shouted out NWA Power like, yeah. I love this show. It's great. <laughs> that's why he, he likes it. The Rock loves, loves it. it. Um, You're wrong, Rock. <laughs> you don't know anything. You and your seven bucks. <laughs> Go make another Fast and Furious movie. Please don't. <laughs> he will. He most definitely will. There's yeah, that. There's 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 did you know there's a... More? My kid is watching a Fast and Furious cartoon right yes. now on Netflix. Did you know that? What? A cartoon? Yes, there's a Fast and yes. Furious cartoon. And my kid is watching it. How does that make you feel? <laughs> so angry. Oh, that's right. Robert Gibson was wearing a shirt that said, Loyalty is a hoax. Ooh, does that weird. mean the Rock and Roll are going to turn on oh, each other? 
Uh, they're also the tag. We never mentioned this. They're the current tag champs oh, yeah. of NWI. They're the best These two old bastards. Of- <laughs> they're still so good. <laughs> oh my still God. so good. So they're your tag team of the year? Yeah. They're, watch their matches. They're and we're still- talking about, you saw, what, 10 NWA powers? That's yes. all you're basing it off of. And all of their stuff throughout the year. They had a I great year. I mean, they had year. some other matches here and there. Yes. <laughs> That's all I need so to say. So you're see. saying they can still Shocking. wrestle at the highest, highest level. Yes. Um, I, I, I'm sorry. I just there. 60-minute Broadway, no doubt. <laughs> so yeah, no doubt. I I can't uh, believe that. He does say that at one point, doesn't he? Yeah. I don't think I have the note here, but he's like, you think, oh, yeah, he he think, you think he can go six oh, minutes? Easily. Champions used to go 60 minutes. Yeah. Where, where am I from? Like, please don't. Oh, that's right. And Ricky please Morton. Don't. Please is, don't go 60 Ricky minutes. Ricky Morton is Morton. peeling from his, like, yes. suntan. Yeah. His, his, his tanning is, is his head not is, happening on his the top of his window peak. His head is peeling Jesus from Christ. his suntan, oh, as we can see. <laughs> that's a that sweet haircut. He baby. goes, all right, back in our day. You used to call the cronies that you would run with stooges. So you get your stooges together, and we'll get our guys together, and we'll have a match. Then you won't have any excuses. Um, well, that's right. And Royce Isaac has the worst colored beard, yeah. mustache I've ever. The mustache. That blonde looking mustache. It's just, it's very unsettling. Blonde mustaches aren't that bad. I mean, for some reason, the way his mustache looks, it's very unsettling. I mean, oh, terrible. I mean,. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so uh, Nick Aldis explains why the two of them aren't going to be in the match because he wants no excuses when he beats him. Blah right. blah blah. Which know. okay, so thank you for letting me know. You're definitely going to fight each other. Yeah. Okay. And then he goes uh, out of nowhere because the title of the episode is the third man, but they never like talk about how there's gonna be a third right. man introduced. He's just like, okay, so obviously strictly business. These two guys, the wild cards, are gonna be with me, and the third man is, and he does like the little NWO point that Scott Hall would do, and, <laughs> and music finally does hit. Oh. The sirens go off and holla! If you yeah. hear me, <laughs> we actually get music, and Scott Steiner. Whatever you do, Scott, don't walk all the way down the <laughs> stairs. Oh, my God. If he just showed up at the top and they cut, it would have been better because it was scary. He took his life in his hands coming down those steps. He was averaging a step for every three seconds of time that went so by. So slow. How is this man going to wrestle a match if he I can't walk downstairs? a horrifying vision of this match that's coming up. He's going to give an avalanche Frankensteiner to Robert Gibson, oh, God. and one of them will die. That's all not. I just want to be like to oh. He's fat. Ever see that he talks about Samoa Joe? Yeah. He's fat. fat. What are those tattoos he's got? I don't know like what's he's happening. He's got two American flags on his bicep. Well, he I loves America. Those. I mean, I get that. He loves America. <laughs> I love America. I love, that he, I love that he still he never gave up. On the I just think it's that. funny that I didn't know this was going to happen. Obviously, this is a surprise. Yeah, this is the show <laughs> of all the shows of all the NWA power shows to pick. This is the one I so am good. picking. Where so Scott good. Steiner. Just oh, Scott. <laughs> Jesus Christ! For a nice awkward <laughs> hug at the end too. A creep, weird. Death defying stairwalk <laughs> into a weird house. He made it. He did get down the stairs. <laughs> he barely made it. Imagine if he'd fall down the stairs. That would have oh, been the best. <laughs> that would have been the best if the show was live and he fell down the stairs. Nothing would have been better than that. All right. Uh, so he's going to be in a match. Jesus Christ. Uh, in a match in the same <laughs> ring as Robert Gibson. I cannot wait. Oh, God. Yeah, I think you're right. Someone is going to die. Wow. What a, what a scary thought. Wow, look at Scott is, Steiner's tattoo. Is he allowed to be like rated R Scott Steiner? Because I hope he is. Oh, and whether he, they want him to he or not, he's going to be. He will be. <laughs> we point? know how good their editing team is when it comes to cutting oh, stuff yeah. out. So. They, don't, they don't do well with cutting around. Remember the uh, video of Scott Steiner we saw where he was like with a fan who was going to cut a promo? Oh, <laughs> God. How funny that was? <laughs> the fan was like, we're, we're going <laughs> to... We're gonna, we're, gonna have sex with all the girls. we're gonna have sex with all the girls and the guys. <laughs> Scott's like, oh, wait, 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 w
All right, yeah. that's NWA power. So what are your final thoughts? Excellent. You loved Love it? it. I didn't hate it, but it wasn't good. It's so Would good. Would you consider watching it again based on its length and production value? If you guys make me. Yeah. Only if you make us. Yeah. I have no. You hated it, Wally? I didn't hate it. it. Like they had people I just, who were way, way too old, or yeah. people who just weren't there yet. I feel like it's a well-produced show, which doesn't have any. It has decent matches, but never is going to have amazing matches to me. Yeah, they it's could. Never going to go to unless Marty and Nick have a great match. That's possible. I'm sure they will. Or Marty and like Ricky. Ricky seems to have ability. Ricky, they, oh, Ricky. They does. could be like a stepping stone for like. I guess. Here's, here's your foot in the door. Yeah. Oh, let's elevate you to where other people actually want to watch so you. you uh, I didn't hate funny. it, but I have no interest in oh, tuning in for another episode. Let me no, ask no, you. I'm not going to watch Let me ask episode. you a question. Because last episode, you talked, Mike, about how living in the past is bad. But now, you <laughs> love Rock and Roll Express. <laughs> I'm not saying living <laughs> in the past is bad. This is not evolution. No, this is not is, an evolution. It is not. But that's what I'm not expecting out of this. But you love. I was not expecting that out of this. Okay. But I think they do, they nail what they're looking to do. They absolutely nail it. I think it is almost like 55 minutes is perfect. They, I think they nail it almost every single week. Just, It's just a killer show, and I love watching it. It's it's uh it's a fun watch and it's quick. They keep it simple. They yeah. don't overdo it. They don't go too crazy. They don't you know, they you know it's just great. It's not overbooked. No, sure. not overbooked. They keep not overbooked, this, but they end matches with neck breakers. They keep you know, <laughs> they keep it. They don't go crazy. They have racism. They don't cut it out. <laughs> yep. NWA. Uh, and that guy, Alex Marvez, or was that his name? Alex? Nope. Marquez. Ooh, David Marquez. David Marquez. He's very good. He's uh, still on Twitter defending oh, the firing yes, of. I know. E, yeah. That's not a great look, guy. No. You just move on and have a good show. He's defending Cornette? Yes, yes. absolutely. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yep, he's still doing that. So that's not a great look, guy. I've seen him before on, uh, what is that, Hollywood Wrestling or something like that? Oh, I don't know. There's a show that. Uh, I think Cody showed up on it once, and Willie Mack was on it, Hollywood Wrestling or something like that. He's on that show, um, which is similar. It's like super overproduced, old school, eighties looking wrestling. But uh, AEW also has a competing show on Tuesdays, AEW Dark, right? Yeah, which is kind of just dark matches. Yeah, I don't usually. watch that anymore. You skip that? Yeah, it's not worth it. It's right. not worth it. So that was NWA Power. So a fun watch, but maybe not the greatest thing in the world. But still a fun watch. You gonna was, was you okay. get the pay per view? I am not going to pay per view now. <laughs> Hard times. No. All right, Wally. Yes. You're up next. I since we mentioned National Treasure, I've been furiously looking through every single person in that movie for one link, but I haven't found one. No yet. Jesse Ventura yet. I haven't found anything yet. I will keep looking, but. Not even National Treasure Two. I'm all, I'm going through the first one right now. <laughs> Your time's running out. You have to pick a show right yeah, now. I'm gonna choose uh, the Punisher movie because oh, we haven't watched one. that yet, right? Why we haven't watched which that. one? The Thomas, Thomas Jane, Jane the one. Thomas Jane. Oh, Thomas one. Jane. Why? Because why would you do is this? Is this recent or is we this from 2003? Kevin Nash in it. Oh, Kevin, God. Nash is, Kevin Nash is like a Russian guy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Have you seen this movie? Uh, no. I'm Punisher fairly sure one. I've How got old it is this? in a like five. It's old, of like 2003 or something. Yeah. yeah is it available old. anywhere? Yeah, I think you can just watch it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you can just Google it. <laughs> Punisher movie free. Okay, got it. God, while he we're in week three, he already he already ruined our chosen ones. Come on, I gave you a gift. I gift wrapped it. Yeah, in. you can watch it online. I, I bundled <laughs> National Treasure up in a gift for you, and you didn't even do it. You, can, you, you couldn't can, find a connection. You can watch it online. I would no. I'm looking for a connection for National Treasure. So maybe next time I'll be able to. But. There's got to be something. There's got to so, be. Something. Did so Sean Bean ever show up in in, in wrestling? Yeah, I was. <laughs> He's got a lot of goons. One of those goons must have been a wrestler. I thought Robert he would, Mallet. but... Yeah, he's keys and right. Stuff. He's got to be around. Dick Cage has never done anything wrestling? Come on. 
I don't know. That's you guys. You guys tell me if he has. <laughs> God, the Punisher. What year? Like if we knew that the kids did wrestling, we would have watched the whole catalog. We should. You know what we should do? Yeah, I have an idea. Just get rid of this podcast and just make it a Nick Cage show. Just okay. fine with me. Yeah. Watch every Nick Cage movie, and fine that's it. By me, <laughs> I will say I've never seen Wicker Man. I hear it's very bad, but it the has bees. perhaps the single greatest five second clip of all time. The bees clip. No. I do want to see oh, that. The the bees clip movie. All right. Wow, that sucks. That's a brutal. Uh, that's a brutal chosen one. Too bad. Good thing you're not here, Bill. You're on vacation. Two thousand four. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have to watch this. All right. Well, have fun on your vacation. We'll see you all next week.